How to Read and Why by Harold Bloom serves as a passionate guide for readers seeking to deepen their engagement with literature. Bloom's central thesis is that reading great literature is an essential activity for personal and intellectual development. Through this book, Bloom aims to inspire readers to appreciate the profound pleasures and insights that come from reading classic works of literature. Bloom begins by emphasizing the importance of reading for pleasure and self understanding. He argues that great literature provides a unique opportunity to explore the depths of human experience and to gain insights into our own lives. Unlike reading for information or utility, reading for pleasure allows for a deeper engagement with the text and a more personal connection with the characters and themes. Bloom suggests that this type of reading can enrich our inner lives and enhance our understanding of ourselves and others. In the opening chapters, Bloom outlines the qualities that distinguish great literature from more mundane forms of writing. He discusses the elements of literary excellence, such as stylistic innovation, psychological depth, and thematic complexity. Bloom argues that great literature challenges readers to think critically and to engage with difficult questions about life, morality, and the human condition. He emphasizes that reading such works requires both intellectual effort and emotional openness. Bloom provides detailed analyses of several canonical authors, offering insights into why their works are worth reading and how they can be approached. He organizes the book into sections based on different genres, including poetry, short stories, novels, and plays. In each section, Bloom selects a few exemplary authors and texts. Providing close readings and interpretations to illustrate their significance. In the poetry section, Bloom highlights the works of William Shakespeare, John Milton, Emily Dickinson, and others. He discusses the unique qualities of their poetry and the ways in which their language, imagery, and themes contribute to the richness of their work. Bloom argues that poetry, more than any other form of literature, requires careful and attentive reading. He encourages readers to savor the language and to reflect on the emotional and intellectual resonances of the poems. Bloom's discussion of short stories includes analyses of works by Anton Chekhov, Ernest Hemingway, and Flannery O'Connor. He explores the ways in which these authors use the short story form to capture moments of intense emotional and psychological significance. Bloom emphasizes the importance of paying attention to the subtleties of language and characterization in short stories, as well as the ways in which these works often convey profound truths about human nature in a condensed form. In the section on novels, Bloom examines the works of authors such as Jane Austen, Charles Dickens, Leo Tolstoy, and Virginia Woolf. He discusses the narrative techniques and thematic concerns that make these novels enduring classics. Bloom argues that novels offer a unique opportunity to immerse oneself in the lives of characters and to explore complex social, moral, and philosophical issues. He encourages readers to approach novels with an open mind and a willingness to engage deeply with the text. Bloom also explores the significance of reading plays. Focusing on the works of dramatists like William Shakespeare, Henrik Ibsen, and Samuel Beckett, he discusses the unique challenges and rewards of reading plays, which are written to be performed and often rely heavily on dialogue and stage directions. Bloom emphasizes the importance of envisioning the performance and considering how the language and actions of characters create meaning. He argues that reading plays can offer profound insights into human behavior, social dynamics, and existential themes. Throughout the book, Bloom underscores the personal and transformative potential of reading. He argues that engaging deeply with great literature can lead to a more enriched inner life and a greater understanding of the complexities of human existence. Bloom suggests that reading allows us to encounter diverse perspectives and to empathize with characters whose experiences may differ from our own. This process, he believes, can foster a greater sense of compassion and self-awareness. Bloom also addresses the practicalities of reading, offering advice on how to approach different types of texts and how to cultivate a habit of reading. 
He emphasizes the importance of reading slowly and attentively, allowing oneself to fully absorb and reflect on the text. Bloom encourages readers to read widely and to revisit favorite works, arguing that each reading can reveal new layers of meaning and insight. He also suggests keeping a reading journal to track one's thoughts and responses to different texts. In addition to discussing specific authors and works, Bloom reflects on broader questions about the role of literature in contemporary society. He expresses concern about the decline of reading for pleasure and the increasing dominance of digital media. Bloom argues that the immersive and contemplative nature of reading is essential for developing critical thinking skills and for nurturing a deep appreciation of art and culture. He calls for a renewed emphasis on the importance of literature in education and in everyday life. Bloom's writing in How to Read and Why is infused with a sense of urgency and passion. He writes not only as a scholar but also as an ardent advocate for the power of literature to enhance our lives. Bloom's enthusiasm for the texts he discusses is infectious, and he succeeds in conveying the joy and wonder that can come from reading great literature. His goal is to inspire readers to embark on their own journeys of literary discovery and to find their own sources of inspiration and delight in the world of books. How to Read and Why is both a guide and a manifesto for readers seeking to deepen their engagement with literature. Through detailed analyses of canonical authors and works, Harold Bloom offers insights into the qualities that make great literature enduring and significant. He emphasizes the importance of reading for pleasure and self understanding, and he provides practical advice on how to approach different types of texts.